Hey Martin Road friends. So with this week, what we are going to do is change it up a little bit so that you don't have to hear my voice talking this whole time. We are going to read a story about something called mindfulness. Mindfulness. So what that is, is just a way to kind of calm our minds. You hear that right in the word. Calm them down a little bit. So mindfulness, I really love because we can use this for lots of different emotions that we might be feeling. I can use it if I'm feeling stressed out. I can use it if I'm feeling sad. I can use it if I'm feeling angry. Lots of different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video and we are going to kind of talk about what the concept is and then we're going to go from there. Okay, here we go. I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde, art by Peter H. Reynolds. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water and I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away. I give myself a moment, I take a breath and then I tell myself it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. I can hug a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream we are peace. Okay, so I really love that part at the end where it says, I can now share my peace with others. And I think that that's a really great concept for us to try to understand and talk a little bit about. When I'm feeling stressed out or angry or sad or any of those emotions that I don't really like to feel, I kind of spread that around to everybody around me. Okay, same thing if we notice that our parents are a little bit more on edge or maybe they yell at us a little bit quicker or we get in trouble a little bit quicker. Sometimes when our parents are feeling that way, we can kind of feel that from them too. So if we flip that around and we practice calming our mind down using this practice of mindfulness, then maybe we can share that with those around us too. Okay, so what we're going to make today is a little mindfulness tube. So what I have is just a toilet paper roll. Okay, so an empty toilet paper roll. I'm going to cut just a teensy bit off the top of it. Just cut that all the way off. And then I'm going to cut up all the way through my tube so that now it's wide, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll that smaller than what it was before, okay? This is going to be my handle. So I've made it nice and small. I'm gonna take some of my tape and I'm just gonna tape all the way around it so that it stays, okay? You can use whatever kind of tape you want. Just gonna tape it really good. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna take that little piece that I cut off before and I'm going to tape that right along the top, okay? So that it's just like this, okay? So I just taped that on there. I'm going to kind of round it out a little bit if I can, all right? And then what I have are lots of different uh, options for little strings, okay? So I've got some twine, some ribbon. I actually cut up some tissue paper. So just things that I found around the house. Remember, we're just doing these crafts with things that we already have in our house. So I'm going to take those. They don't need to be the same length or pretty. I'm going to take those, and I'm just going to tape everything around my little top part here, okay? I want it to kind of stick out to the side like that. And I'm just gonna keep taping on the rest of what I have cut out over here. So remember that we can be using mindfulness anytime, okay? I don't have to have tools like this to be able to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is what we all know as deep breathing, okay? It's just a fancier term for that deep breathing. It's a way to kind of help us calm down, to give us a break. Um, I've heard from lots of you in the last week over our phone calls, Microsoft Teams, that you guys are getting stressed out with your workload. Um, one of the benefits of being stuck at home during this time is that you can take breaks, okay? You can pause and do some mindfulness or you can go outside and take a walk, okay? Lots of different things. That's the beauty of being at home is that you don't need to ask, well, you still need to ask permission. You don't need to be stuck in the time constraints though of what our classroom would typically be like. So if you want to take a 10 minute break and go out and take a walk because it's nice out or help mom get dinner ready or whatever it might be, you can do that because you're at home. Okay. All right. So now what I've created here is just some ribbons on the end of my little tube. How this works is I put my mouth right up to it and I just blow through it. Okay. I can see these ribbons going. The more ribbons that you put on there, the more you'll see them blowing through, okay? Just like my deep breathing, when I do those breathing activities, it helps calm my mind down. When I have something like this added to that breathing, it gives me something else to focus on, okay? It helps um, distract me a little bit more from whatever it is that I might be feeling that I'm trying to get rid of, okay? So I'm gonna breathe in and then and I just blow through and I watch those ribbons twirl all around, okay? Again, just like all the other weeks, if you guys are completing these crafts, let me know, send me an email, reach out to me via Microsoft Teams, however you might like. I love seeing your finished products though and I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you next week. Bye guys.